Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Platinum Point, and I'm here to bring you guys another Pokemon deck profile. Today, we're going to be examining Charizard EX and how it becomes one of the most powerful decks post Stellar Crown. We're going to be going over the list as well as I'll be showcasing to you guys how this deck plays in and how it operates in action. So stay tuned. uh incredibly positive reception that my dragapult deck got um i was actually kind of surprised a lot of you guys actually enjoyed it if you guys want to see more deck um videos like this where i not only go over the deck profile try to mix it between physical and and ptcg live since the benefit of ptcg live is i can kind of weave in some of the game matches um, please comment below what you guys like. Um, just wanted to give you guys also a quick update. If you guys also enjoy Vice Schwartz content, please don't hesitate to watch the previous video, which was a clip from my one of my streams where I went over some of the changes I did with Data Live. I also did a deck profile, Bochi the Rock, which I will also put in the description below. Please check it out if you guys are, especially if you guys aren't familiar with Weiss Schwartz and you want to get into the game. I encourage you guys to check that, check out my channel for that content because I play multiple card games and I would like you guys to kind of see what exists in the realm of TCGs, not just Pokemon, not just Yu-Gi-Oh, not just Magic. There's a lot. So, and this channel is dedicated to not just anime, but again trading card games so without further ado let's get on to the quick deck profile we're gonna look at the list we're going to go off with some of the pokemon so i play three of the this charmander the 70 hp charmander because since dragapult is probably going to be around and pretty active in the metagame it is one of the top three decks you want to play a 70 hp just so you don't get it knocked out so easily um, we also play one copy of the Charmeleon and then two copies of the Charizard in this list. We're trying to be a little bit more consistent since there's so many moving parts and so many engine pieces like that I feel like the three one two split is fine. You can do a four one three, but we're kind of tight on space right now, especially since you want to have enough room for tech pieces, especially depending on your locals or the regional scene, depending on how the metagame shifts. So right now we're just doing a three, one, two split. And that's been a common split for both on the Western side, as well as in the Asian circuit. Um, and I continue on with the, just like in Dragapult, we're going to be playing the Pidgey line. I'm playing two copies of the 60 HP in this list because um, the chances of it getting targeted down by Dusk Best Clops is pretty high Pidgey, so one of the ways to make it a little bit likely that it's going to stick to survive past the Dust Clops is to play the 60 HP. I know it still loses to Dragapult, but that's just the risk that you got to take until they release a 70 HP one. We're kind of just stuck with that for now. And then, obviously, two Pidgey Pidgeots with the quick search ability to help you um search for anything and it complements well like when you search the for the charizard you get to take advantage of not only thinning out your deck with um out of three energy via infernal um, rain but you're able to search for any pieces with um that you need in order to advance your game state and then we're gonna be playing the dust noir line which require which runs two dust skulls one dust clops and then one Dusk Noir. If you remember from my previous video with the Dragapult, we're basically using the, the Curse Blast ability to soften up our targets to help us get those knockouts that we need. And as well as um, just to like speed up the game as much as possible. And then next we're, we're playing one copy of the Luminion V. The Luminion V is really good going second. It allows you to search for your Arvin, which again, in get you deeper into your deck in the form of either getting the buddy buddy poffin nest ball 
and especially the one card that we need, which is the four sealed stone from the Arvin. So like just being able to go Lumini on Arvin going second is really good. And just like with the same logic, we're, we play one copy of the Rotom V because if we're going first, we want to open with Rotom V instead. So that way you get to have access to instant charge to draw three and um, just basically plus cards in hand going second, which forces your opponent to have the Iono if they're that afraid of you getting a bigger hand. And that helps you, especially if you have, if you open bricks early game. So like the, it forces the Iono to hopefully get you to a better hand. And then we play one copy of the Pheasantipity um, EX. Pretty much standard. If you, since this deck likes to, is more of a mid-range deck, you like to play um, from behind. Fez and Fezidipity kind of like lives up to that style where if your opponent takes the aggressive uh, role of trying to get early knockouts, you get to at least draw three to build your hand size up. And then next, we play one copy of the Cleffa with Grasping Draw because going second, this can easily be an attack if we run, if we don't happen to get into, if we don't have either the Rotom V or the Luminion V, we can at least, if we have this in the active, play out all our cards going second and then just draw seven, which is really nice. I mean, not draw seven, draw up to set until you have seven, which is really nice. And then we play one copy of the Rad or Radiant Charizard, which again, the ability excited heart it's combustion blast loses one colorless energy for each prize your opponent takes and it's we just use it for the combustion blast for 250 and then onto the trainers we are playing four arvin we're playing three iono two bosses order two professor tour uh, not two one professor Turo scenario one Briar, four Buddy Buddy Poffin, four Ultra Ball. Um, the reason why we're playing four Ultra Ball is that we're using this to mainly dig out for the Pidgeots, the Stage One, any EXs that we're looking for. That we like, if we don't have the Nest Ball, we'll search for that, or just any key pieces that we need during that turn. So we, this is a four of obviously because it allows you to. Get rid of bricks and then we play two copies of nest ball so that way when we go first we have the option of searching for the rotom to help us just draw three and pass when we're going first i also play the one he he's doing heavy ball because chances are you might have the unfortunate luck of prizing any of these these key pieces and he's doing heavy ball just helps you get it back replace it with the ball and still remain the six prizes until you take one prize to basically get closer to winning the game next we play four copies of rare candy two counter catchers two super rod one unfair stamp one canceling cologne yeah one canceling cologne one unfair stamp um we're not trying to add copies. One four sealed stone to search for any piece that you need. And then one defined span for an additional 30 to the active. If your opponent has more prizes than, than you do. And then one collapse stadium. And then for the energy, we play five fire and one mist energy. So like the purpose of the deck is to slowly build up your resources while taking advantage while baiting your opponent into taking some kind of advantage like prize advantage only for it to be upset from the chart with via the charizard as well as the squat um the pheasant deputy to just replace cards from our hand after we lose um a card on the board so this deck overall is very aggressive but at the same time, it, it, I would categorize it as a mid-range deck because in order for this deck to advance, you kind of have to play very passively early game, like slowly building advantage. And then when it's time to like unleash, you play like a standard aggro deck where you're taking prizes left and right and trying to occur advantage. So we're going to give this deck 
a quick test just to show you guys how it, how it functions so we're gonna play maybe one or two games with this deck just, just so you guys can have a kind of understanding of how the deck functions So we're going. So let's see if our opponent's gonna let us go. Okay, they're gonna be going first, which is great for us. Oh, wrong deck. We're playing the wrong deck. Oh, this is not. This is a fun deck that I threw together. Let me just swap that into. You don't have to worry about that deck. let's let's run this let's run this back <laughs> silly me yeah we're definitely going to be playing two games this is what happens when you when you play like back-to-back -back tournaments and when you come home it's your brain just is still fried but i wanted to showcase this deck because this is definitely going to be one of the top two decks moving forward and I just so happen to get my hands on everything on PT like to build the deck on PC PTCG Live. So I wanted to showcase that. Okay, this is a pretty interesting hand. I guess we will put the Dust Skull in active. Okay, we're going up against probably Ogre Pond. Maybe um, Raging Bolt. Okay, they're. Okay, this is the Hydrapple deck, I think. Which this deck does have a pretty interesting matchup against. It depends on who takes first prize. Like, the thing about this deck is the play style for, for this deck is. Again, mid range. You really wanna not not actively seek out the prizes. You kind of wanna take build up slow advantage and just curb stomp your opponent in a sense. So let's see what we draw here. Can we draw another Pidgey? Okay, I think we bench those two. We bench that, and then we bench that, and then I think we pass turn here. It's it's so dependent on what my opponent does with their play. Like they could, if they I own me, that's pretty good on my my end. My chances are they have the Arvin, so we gotta wait and see. Since they kind of telegraph by searching the Hydrapple. Oh, they have that. They're probably real okay. Interesting. They got two grass energy. So I'm thinking they're gonna teal dance, teal dance here. Yeah. Okay. The problem is the Radzar does threaten a lot of interesting interactions, just because of the fact that Radzard will allow me to kind of recover some of the advantage that I lost. Let's see what I draw here. Ooh. Let me see what let me see what's been prized. Okay, I see that. We'll get this. And this. We'll bench that. 
play that. Let's. Okay. We'll start our alchemy. We'll get our hands on the Pidget. Because this will give us access to Quick Search. Quick Search will allow us to get the Pheasant Dippity. I'm thinking we strand this in the active. Let's try draw three to see if a Okay, well, what we'll do here, we'll shuffle those back. I'm thinking we attach it to here. And then we grasping draw. Okay. This is going to be interesting. It depends on how my... Okay, they hit the rare candy. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Gonna teal mask. The teal dance again. Okay. Interesting. Is that another hydrapple? Yep. Okay, he passed turn. So what we'll do here is we'll hitch to we'll do that. We'll Shuffle back. We'll... Get the collapse stadium. Let's see what I can get. Okay. So we'll get that. And then we'll do that. And we'll grasping draw off the three. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So what I'll probably go for here. So let's see. Hmm, interesting. Let's quick search. No. So many options. Check. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud. None. Hmm. We'll pitch 
to and then we'll grasp and draw for two again interesting because like right now they're behind like in tempo like we can uh, like i'm gonna be our goal in this situation is to kind of take advantage so that they're forced to attack because genuinely speaking i can probably go for the i can pretty much go aggro hmm many choices here I'm trying to think let's Arvin up that I know we're gonna be three this might be a little bit sus yeah let's see Okay, let's go for the Burning Darkness knockout. Okay. Get the edge on me depends on his board. But the thing is, by the time he gets the advantage, I will probably run rough shot because this can threaten so much damage. So he's doing. Hmm. He's going to go for the knockout here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, so many options. I feel like Mist Energy will pull this one out. Pull Unfair Stamp. And Combustion Blast or Knockout. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Interesting. Hmm. 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 Interesting. So that's going for thirty, sixty, ninety. 120. Let's see, does he hit for 120? 
Interesting. Okay, that's 180. Draw three. It's gonna depend on a few things. Like if he bosses me, it's pretty much GG's. Like right now he's like desperate for the boss, I think. Draw one. Interesting. Wonder what he's gonna. We've got five cards left in that. There's the Mew. That's kind of interesting, but at the same time, not that interesting. It's like <laughs> kind of catch twenty-two ish. Okay, so. We just gotta hope. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting play. So I'm kind of curious, is it gonna hit me? Or is he thinning so he can draw two? Okay. So let's get that. Okay. The briar serves no purpose here. Let's take a look. Okay, I do have, yep. Oh, wow. That is interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we can't win this unless I had the Charizard. I would have won that. That was kind of unfortunate, but 
Like, even against other matchups, I feel like this deck is fine. But there's a whole lot that need that can be left to be desired with the deck. And I'm going to be honest. I can see why this is like out of the top three decks. This is like the second strongest because you're so reliant on a lot of pieces. And if you don't have it and everything goes wrong, yeah, the deck dies. That's why I'm kind of curious on how Raging Bolt like operates post, like post um, Stellar Crown. Like Stellar Crown comes out, like is legal like this upcoming weekend. So as of recording this, like it's still not legal. Oh, so we're gonna go up against Reggie Drago. Let's see how, how this deck fares. Cause I'm not gonna lie. That's probably a really hard matchup for, for this deck. Like Reggie Drago like bullies this deck to high heaven. He's probably gonna get Squawkabilly. Hmm, he's probably gonna get just scratching my back. Like, yeah. He's probably gonna get Squawkabilly. Hmm. And he's gonna squawk and seize. It's a tough matchup, like... Okay. Either he bricked... Okay, we're gonna go this route. And then... Well, I... Oh, no. Okay. This is gonna. I feel like play that and then draw three. Okay, that is an interesting hand. Yeah, like this. This hand is interesting. Okay, he attaches. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> this might be actually painful. He might actually have. Okay, he. That means he might have the V star in hand. And he just bang. Okay, he's I O knowing me. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, I got the Arvin. That is. Oh crap. <laughs> he's probably gonna go for the the, the cure. Oh. Okay. This just gives me rare candy or sealed stone. We rare candy into that. We four sealed stone. We can hit suing heavy ball. Maybe that. And then what we'll do here, we'll Star Alchemy. 
We're gonna get... I'm gonna obviously get the rare candy here. I'm gonna go for the quick search. With the Charizard. And we're just gonna evolve straight away. And... Yep. Yeah. Well, Infernal Rain. And we'll attach here, so we can attack the Ogre Pond with it. We'll attach there so it's unaffected, and I'm thinking we go for the Burning Darkness for 180. So at least we can two hit KO the Drago, like threaten it. So like if he hits me, I at least get to hit it back and knock it out. So this is kind of getting interesting. There's the Dragapult. And then... Maybe this. I doubt he's going to care on me now that he's... I'm in a good state. He actually would... It would actually have been his better better interest to drag up alt me, but at the same time, does he want to give me advantage? He's gonna prime catcher probably the Charizard, the Raid Radzard. Oh, okay. So he's going after the Fez. Hmm. Okay, what can he hit? He's gonna professor's research, draw a new hand. What I might do is if he if he knocks this out, he'll, I'll unfair stamp him. We'll see. Okay, he's getting another one ready. But he doesn't want I don't think it's a good idea to give me ammo. Because I can even just bring this up. So we gotta wait and see. So let's see what he does. This is gonna be interesting. So what attack is he? He's going to do 200 here. I'm going to hit the... I'm thinking he's going to hit the pen. And then 200 to the Fez. Let's see what happens. Yep. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Okay, um... I think... That's about it for the... For this little, um, deck profile slash... Deck, um, deck test session. I will be doing more of, of these in the near future. And... I want to be able to showcase some of the decks that I've been kind of messing around with as well as doing a couple discussions on how Pokemon has been kind of just on like not just on the upswing like just not not just Pokemon but like looking at other card games and I might be even doing some reaction videos on some of the thoughts and discuss like and the ideas that people are kind of been pushing but I am going to be calling this video like the this matchup in the video because I want to be able to get some more um, deck testing done and yeah and I want to be able to showcase other decks and not have to make this an hour long video so thank you guys 
again for watching the, the previous video don't forget to check out my data live deck profile which will be in the end cards as well as check out the the bochi the rock one which i'll put in the description below and check if you haven't checked out my dragapult list too which was the the video before the the data live one please check that out i will have the deck list in the description below as well as i will be looking at other like decks like another deck that i am for pokemon that is that i am currently getting ready to the to, to, to um put together you guys might not be able to see it it's terrapagos i am going to be looking at terrapagos but i'm just waiting for all the pieces to come come out and i'll probably showcase it via tcg live if i can put it together so that's just about it don't forget to rate comment subscribe stay on point guys and i hope you guys like this video this is a little bit longer one but i hope you guys like it peace out youtube and stay on point